Are you trying to add tasks by planner to a private channel in Teams? I'm going to show you a workaround for this. So just to demonstrate what I mean, I have a private channel here called Compensation. And if I go to the plus sign, um, by the way, I am the owner of the team. So as such, I can add apps into a team. But let's hit the plus sign. You see Tasks by Planner is available in my list here, even if I, I can also search for it. It shows there. So if I click on it, and then let, I'm going to name it here. I clicked on it. It looks like it's going to add it for me. I hit save and nothing seems to happen. What's wrong with planner, right? And then it says, it looks like this team has an existing plan. Use that plan. So you're like, I don't think so. I just made this team or I just made this channel. Um, so it, it is not going to let you do it this way. Uh, so if you try this method out on a channel that is not locked, is not private, it'll work fine. Um, so let's look at the workaround for this. So I'm going to close this. So the workaround involves me going onto the web and into the planner app. So all you need to do to get to your planner app on the web is log into your Microsoft account and go to the little grid waffle on the left hand corner side there at the top and look for planner in the drop down list. So once you find planner there, you want to go and choose a new plan. So I'm just back out of here new plan and I'll have you create a new blank plan. So really what we're going to do is we're going to create a plan and then we're going to share it with the people from that private channel. So, and then we're going to link it into that private channel so that we can access it. So the few steps here, right? Uh, create the plan, invite the people that we want to share it with, and then link it back into the team's channel that's private. So let's do that. Now it does give you an option to add an existing group. Be careful of this one. I mean, maybe you have an existing group for your private channel already. I know I don't. I made the team, I made the private channel. I did not make another group. And so when I type in HUM for human resources, it comes up with my team group here, but that's not the channel. So this could, this human resources group could be 10 people in it, but the channel that I'm wanting to create the task for is the compensation channel, which maybe has four people in it. So I'm um, just to remind you what that looks like. I'm going to go back to teams. Human resources is a team, which could have many members in it. Compensation is the locked private channel that has less people in it. So I don't have a private group for that. So I'm not going to choose an existing group and privacy and sensitivity. You definitely want to say it's private because then you're going to invite people to it. So no one's going to be able to access this plan unless they're invited to it. So I'm going to choose create. Let's just add in a test task for our compensation group. Okay, so get that task in there, add it in there, just as a test if you want. Um, and then what we really have to do is we have to share this with the people that are members of that private channel. So hopefully you know who the members are. If you have a group, of course, that'd be faster, especially if it's more than five or 10 people, we don't have to type in all those names. Uh, but if you don't, you're going to have to add them in individually. So I'm going to go to where it says members over on the right here. And it says, enter a name to add a new member. So I'll enter in uh, someone else from my organization. And now I have two members. So see how it's showing two members there as opposed to just one, right? So two people can access this, this planner now. And the, that person that was invited, by the way, will get an email that says they've been invited to this planner. Okay, great. So now we have a planner we can share, but it's still just web-based that we're talking about. So if you want to get it into your private channel of your team, then what we're going to, have to do is one more step here. So we're going to go to the top here and where we have the three dots, we're going to say copy link to plan. It says link copy to clipboard. And then we're going to go into the Teams app and we are going to paste that link as a web link into a, a tab at the top. So let's minimize this and I'm going to hit the plus sign here. And this time we're not going to say task by planner because it doesn't give us any place to put in a link. So we have to use website as what we're what we're adding in here. So we're adding in a website. So really just the link to the website to the planner that we created. So tab name, I can call it tasks, the tasks name that I want to. And then URL. So paste your link here. I certainly will. And you can post to the channel about the tab. Uh, you may want to wait on that to make sure it works first before you do that. But that's your way of telling everybody else, hey, it's working. Um, but you can always do that afterwards. So I'm going to hit save. 
And now it looks a little bit odd uh, in that it is giving me my full planner app from the web, but just keep in mind that each person that looks at this in, in their team's environment is going to see their planner app, but it's going to be open to the plan that you shared with them. So you can see, even though I'm seeing things on the left side of my screen that I don't necessarily want to see, I'm seeing the HR planner in my private compensation channel and uh, I'm seeing the tasks that I created while I was online. So, so that's the workaround for how to add planner to a private channel. Hey, give it a try.